John. Our story is our own, and true evidence that in this life you must follow your heart. I believe coincidence is the love language of the universe. It's a way of letting us know that we're in the right place at the right time. Well, shit, look at us. <laughs> Let's take a moment to look around at where we are, but also to acknowledge and cherish all of the other places we have been. When I met you 12 years ago, I was instantly drawn to you. It wasn't only your smashing good looks, but your kind, gentle nature, not only towards me, but everyone around you. We became friends back then, and the universe had grand plans for us. It pulled us apart and sent us on separate yet oddly parallel paths. And on my 28th birthday, I spoke your name out loud when a friend asked if I had any regrets so far. You, John Marsley, were my only regret. And after years of silence, not three days after I spoke your name, our worlds collided. Forever. I will refuse to be without you. Our reconnection felt like a beacon of light in the distance. A lighthouse on the horizon, leading me to safe shores. I truly believe you saved my life. You took me in, nurtured me, showed me things within myself I had forgotten were there. Perhaps the time was good for both of us, growing in our own separate ways, experiencing life on a different frequency, and eventually leading us back to this moment. I know with my whole being there is nothing we couldn't face together. We both surrendered and trusted that we could help each other make it to the other side. And here we are. Look at where we are. It should be impossible to find one person out of eight billion who is the best for you, but you two are the best for each other. If we go back to the year 2009, they were building a new IKEA, and John did not like that job at all. <laughs> but there were several times when he called and said, I'm not going to quit because there's this girl that I'm working with. She's beautiful, she's funny, she's intelligent. And so I'm going to stay at this job because she's making it all worthwhile. Oh, you look wonderful, girl. Oh, you do too. Oh, you look like a main man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Mom and Dad, today a bride, tomorrow a wife, forever your daughter. up every morning and I feel like I'm still dreaming. <laughs> I am in awe of the life we've built and continue to build for ourselves. 
I vow to you that I will never stop eagerly awaiting you to wake up each day, peek around the corner, and be once again overwhelmed by the fact that you were just simply there. I promise to forever love you through the highs and lows of this life. I vow to never get sick of simply just being by your side. I promise to always sing Boone and June and Lou songs with you. I vow that I will never stop making you coffee. Like it is the most important task I have to complete each day. There's not much in life that's guaranteed but John in this life. I promise to always fight for us in our marriage. I love you, John Lewis. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I now pronounce you wife and husband. You have to learn to love cats. Where's our <laughs> Where's our cat? We, yeah, Lulu, you have to learn to love cats, and John did. <laughs> okay, I gotta do my Lou voice. Dear Dad, <laughs> there's no lap for me as two lofans this morning's no good, but I hear today's is your become my official dad's, so I accept. Yeah, Lou, you're not a bastard cat. <laughs> not only do I love you, but I like wow. you. Truly, you are my best friend. I love the silly songs. You sing me every morning and the coffee that's already waiting for me when I wake up. But what I love most about you is that you not only accept but embrace all of me. I can be my purest self around you. My cat-obsessed, goofy, gassy, pet-peeved, zero to 100 frustrated, new hobby everyday self. I promise to put forth every effort within me to make each day of our marriage better than the last. To keep planning epic adventures, to keep singing you songs, to walk out of the shower in the nude like a weirdo just to make you laugh. <laughs> to keep being us. From creating Mars and the Moon, to moving into a van together and traveling all over this continent with Lulu to moving to Maine and starting over. We are fucking living this life. Fuck. <laughs>